good morning. It's Sunday morning. And, um, oh, I think it's around 10 o'clock or maybe 10.30. I'm not sure. And I, uh, I came out here to read and to do a little bit of, uh, exercising with my hoop. As my neighbor says, your exercise hoop. He bumped it yesterday and I picked it up and he says, oh yeah, I sort of knock over your exercise hoop. That was interesting. I've never really thought of that. But of course, that's what it is. For me at least. Whatever. So I've uh, left the kittens inside they uh, they sleep a lot, so I figured I'd let them sleep. I'm the kind of person um, when I have a kitten, I uh, I leave it alone to do its own thing. I uh, I like the independence of cats, and I don't like cats that are um, needy. I figure cat means not needing and independent, as I said. So creating a cat that is contrary to that is just wrong to me. And that's what happened with one of our kittens um, years ago, one of our cats years ago. If you remember Ty. She was uh, a very needy cat because um, when we got her, both of the kids were kids and they, uh, she was raised with them. And that just made her a cat that loved being handled, loved being around people, and needed to be constantly paid attention to. And I can't stand cats like that. My, my uh, friend who lives up in Northwest Territories, she uh, has a cat like that, which she gave to us to live with us for a while when she was living somewhere where she couldn't have a cat. And that cat was constantly around. And neurotic is what I felt. So I like cats that are independent, happy to be um, doing their own thing. So when cats want to do their own things, I let them. And uh, yeah. Anyway, these guys are kittens, major kittens. They're only weeks old, not even months old. So um, I let them sleep and do their own thing. I have no idea where they are right now. They they were underneath the toilet or behind the toilet last time I was in the house. And now I, I wasn't going to disturb them if that's where they were again. So they spent all night in their carrier together. And then uh, this morning they came out and played and uh, found the space behind the toilet and that's where they've been hanging out so I presume that's where they are because well I don't know they're not behind the washing machine anymore so so I came out to read and I'm in a strange mood because I was watching the Pan Am games last night and because of I sound like I'm greedy or something because I think, you know, they should keep on winning and they've won so much. Why do I care if they get something taken away from them? But it seems unfair. And uh, that put me in a, a mood. Uh, 
even last night and this morning that I can't uh, figure out really. It's kind of weird that something like that would put me in a mood, but I've enjoyed the games and people have made mistakes and this and that, but this one really gets to me. The uh, The runners were clearly the fastest ones on the track, and yet um, through what I feel is pettiness, they got their gold taken away from them by runners who were not as fast. And how someone feels that that should count just blows my mind. I would never think of doing something like that myself and uh, woo, bumblebee. Um, but really, but it seems so unfair. But fair is only if you believe in God, right? Otherwise there's no such thing. So there's no such thing. Um, my kids are all doing stuff. Um, my daughter and her husband are going to uh, the Canadian um, Open, I think. They've got the whole weekend pass and they're going to take advantage of it. They gave their pass to someone else yesterday because you can only spend so much time at a golf course. But they're going today and the weather's wonderful. And my son and his girlfriend are uh, babysitting their dog and their new kitten. <laughs> new kitten. Her name is uh, Birdie. And she's spending time with Jersey. So they're babysitting Jersey and Birdie. And it's a wonderful day, and I'm going to go visit my dad, whose birthday it is today. He is 91 years old. And by golly, he's spending it in the hospital, which he doesn't want, and nobody wants, but that's what things are at. And he doesn't like that. As my son yes said yesterday, basically all he does is tells you, don't get old. I said, oh, it would be so nice if you guys were along because then they'd have someone else to talk to. And my daughter said, they don't do much talking. And mainly, you know, Oma ends up crying about getting old and Opa tells you not to get old. And that's pretty sad. They don't do that when we're around. So probably that wouldn't happen, but still. So we're going to go spend a few minutes there and for as long as we can take it and then go home. And that's that. I'm trying to avoid the mosquitoes here. I keep on finding new bites, even though I have this repellent. And even though it's windy, they still come through. So I have one or two bites a week. So I could only imagine what I would have if I didn't have this, so whatever. I'm happy. I didn't go in the sun today. I figured that's enough sun for this year, so I'm just going to hang out under the tree for the rest of the year, for the rest of the summer. <laughs> I would love to hang out under the tree for the year. going to be a hot one. It really is. According to the cicadas, it's going to be a hot one. Alrighty. Ta for now.